Hello, hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Monica from Crafting with Queen Lady and I hope you have an absolutely fabulous day. It is Monday, so it is time for personalized card. In today's project I decided to use beautiful floral images from Box of Sunshine number one. And in the top right corner you can check my unboxing video and I really love this box because it comes with variety of sentiments you can use for lots of different projects. Also beautiful flowers, labels, hearts and you can really stamp any sentiment if you want on these elements. You can fussy cut all those beautiful borders, leaves, flowers, literally anything. And the quality of this paper is absolutely amazing and it is super smooth. Now you can see all those A4 size papers and as you can see they are absolutely gorgeous. And they are perfect for any quick makes and also for a variety of really complicated beautiful layered cards. If you haven't seen my video from Saturday where we did amazing video hop, the link is in the top right corner so you can check it out and I really encourage you to do it because there is a price if you watch all those videos and subscribe to all the channels taking part in the video hop. Now you can see all the elements I fussy cut from Box of Sunshine number one and there are so many of them and it's literally just one box and what's really good about this kit that you can actually use it for any occasion. As I said before, this one is for 17th birthday and I've got two square panels and I'm going to emboss the smaller one because this is personalized card for someone who really likes flowers. So I decided, yes, this box of sunshine number one is perfect. And also in the description down below, you can check the links to Martha's uh, YouTube channel. Also her Facebook group where you can post any makes you, you do with Martha's design papers, not only from box of sunshine, but also from her buy me a coffee website where she posts have free design papers so you can check them out and I also left the link to her beautiful box of sunshine kits which you can also check on her eBay account. Now to add a little bit more interest to my personalized card I decided to use a little bit of distress oxide ink and as you saw me before I use scissors to distress all the edges because I really like that technique and it really gives that special interest for any card making. I really really love it. Now it is time to start putting all those elements together and I absolutely love that beautiful floral border and I thought yes it is perfect with that beautiful floral circle and it will match all my elements beautifully. To adhere all my elements as usual I use my one and only liquid glue, magic glue, because when it dries it dries clear. As you can see, I also have double-sided tape on the back of my card. And in the description down below, I also left some links to all the products if you are interested. To add a little bit more interest, I decided to use gold ribbon. And later on, I'm going to use gold uh, card for the number of the birthday. So all my elements will match beautifully. I wonder, do you use ribbons in your card making? If you do, What's your preferred size? I really like those very narrow ribbons, but also I really like those wider ribbons, but I don't really use them that often. Now I'm going to assemble all my panels together. And as you saw me, I use my pokey tool to get rid of the backing of my double-sided tape. And now I'm going to put it on six by six inches card base. So super quick and simple. And what I really like about this card all the colors match beautifully with my Distress Oxide and the card was super quick and easy to make and I had so much fun. So if you haven't used Martha's Design Papers, I really encourage you to check her Buy Me A Coffee website. Now I'm going to attach these elements, but I'm going to add a little bit of double-sided tape for extra dimension and interest. I'm pretty sure you don't really see it on the camera, but in real life it really makes a difference. And I wonder, do you use double-sided tape on your projects? If you do, which elements do you actually pop? Please let me know. 
Now when this is ready, I'm going to add a little bit of liquid glue just to make sure everything is nice and secure. Super quick and simple. Now I'm going to die cut the numbers from Apple Blossom Cutting Die Set. And as I said before, they are from Gold Card, so they will match my ribbon beautifully. I wonder, do you match your ribbons with your sentiments or numbers on your cards? If you do, what is your preferred colour? I'm really curious. Now I'm going to add those beautiful 3D flowers and I just couldn't resist. They are in the box of Sunshine number no. 1 and they give so much dimension and interest to your projects. If you haven't seen those flowers, please check that beautiful box of sunshine. To adhere those beautiful flowers, I decided to use 3D gel glue. You can also use any liquid glue and also uh, hot glue if you want. However, I don't want to wait to adhere all those flowers. That's why I used 3D gel collide glue. Now, our elements are ready but it wouldn't be me if I didn't add a little bit more interest. So in this case, I created a tiny bow using the same ribbon. And again, I'm going to use a tiny bit of 3D gel glue. And yes, it is that time to add a few more gems for extra sparkle. And as you can see, I added a few of pinks and purples here. Please let me know about this card. If you like this video, give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't ar already. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting. Bye for now!